Hello Privates! In today's tutorial we are going to choose a map, enter it and choose a nation. Keep watching till the end so you can see the steps. Here we are scrolling down to see an empty map. There are a variety of maps between World War 3, flashpoints etc. We spoke about this in the last episode. Here we have this map that is half empty. There are only 23 players in the map that uh, have 64 spots. Let's click on join and start searching for a nation. It's going to refresh a little bit here loading. Okay, this is the map on the left and on the right the list of the playable nations. We chose World War 3 for speed game. It has 64 playable nations. Here in front of you the list of the nations. You can see here China behind it there is a username that means that China has been taken Chile is not taken because there isn't a username there and the nation in the map is still bright so here how do we choose a nation first of all as a beginner you need a big nation a big country because a big country have better resources production and also we have to consider that this nation doesn't have a lot of neighbors doesn't have a lot of threats and also we need to mention that this nation needs to have an influence in the region that other nations they are going to be scared to attack you the best choice here we have India available, so we are going to choose India. The military doctrine is Eastern. I am going to explain the doctrines and the differences between them in another video. We are in the game now and this is in front of you, India. India is one of the greatest nations in conflict of nations World War 3 with 8 homeland cities. In the top left corner I am going to present to you these features. We are in day 1 and the time, the time is 10 pm for Xpeed and this is the victory progress. We have 92 points and we need 1850 victory points to win. This is the con news where people write articles and also you can see the ranking. This is the research panel. I am going to explain this also in another video. This is the diplomacy section where we can see our relationships with other nations and also we can text them and change our status with them. This is the alliances panel and the events. Whenever you are in uh, a battle or something, everything will appear there. Up above, now we are going to speak about our resources. We have the warheads, we have all kinds of resources and the gold there. Those resources, they are very important to build units and buildings. We are going to take things step by step, as I am going to explain everything in this tutorial series. This is the list of our cities. Here we can change the map into diplomatic map, which every nation is going to have its own color. Here we can toggle units, we can toggle the uh, ways, we can hide them off, also the units and also we can choose the map of the geography, like you can see the mountains, the desert, the shallow waters, the high seas, that's going to be useful in certain occasions. We are at the end of today's video, see you guys in the next one.